Welcome to the exotic Portland Parish on the northeastern side of the island. So I'm in its capital, Port Antonio, a small town and what is described as the cradle of Jamaica's tourism industry. It's lined by sandy beaches, it's a really small beach, forested coast and some of the most unique gems you can find on the island. Look where the sail long. Not just Port Antonio but Portland on a whole. It's a place frequented by celebrities so it might even sound costly. But I'm on a budget friendly stay here to show you how to spend wisely in Port Antonio and doing so by shooting on an iPhone, my personal iPhone. So can your iPhone shoot travel vlogs? The answer is yes. Today the equipment that I'm using and what I've always used to shoot all my travel vlogs are my iPhone 11 Pro Max, a standing tripod and a handheld tripod. The last thing you need is an adjustment of your camera settings. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your settings, you're going to scroll all the way down to camera and where it says record video, hit that and then you're going to scroll down and select 4K 60. I also always have on the lock camera option that is just down below. I usually record at 1080 60 but it takes up a lot of space so 4K 60 is going to be even more space than normal. I'm also not a tech genius, I'm just sharing with you the little tips and tricks I've learned while shooting my travel vlogs with an iPhone camera. In fact, aside from episode 2 of my Jamaica Diary series, every single video I've posted have not only been shot but also edited on this iPhone right here. This is my baby and that was up until April of this year 2021 which is when I started using a laptop. I always had a laptop but it was old and I know it sounds tedious editing on an iPhone but I didn't have any other choice. The laptop I had I couldn't use it so I made use of what I had. So the answer to that question is yes you can also edit on an iPhone but for right now we're focusing on shooting and at this natural haven that is Port Antonio. One of the most scenic places you can shoot on the island. Remember to like, share and subscribe. <laughs> Let's do that again! Welcome to Frenchman's Cove Beach! Alright guys, so we are at Frenchman's Cove, one of Jamaica's most charming and a very secluded beach here in Port Antonio. Access to the beach is 1,000 Jamaican dollars and for local kids under 12, it's 500 Jamaican dollars or 6 US dollars for tourists. <laughs> Aluna, I'm up about this church! <laughs> A little swing that's to the side of the beach and you can come over here and swim and swing on the swing. By the way, this is going on my YouTube video. Yeah, if you want. With your consent. With your consent. It's so cool how just to the side is the river and it channels to the beach over here so so cool the location is amazing it's 10 or 15 minutes from the town very soothing here it's world renowned and it's also featured in several films so i'm here with my cousin shantoy and it's her birthday everybody tell shantoy happy birthday shantoy hi guys we're chilling here for the day we're enjoying the cool breeze taking it all in and you can also rent beach chairs 300 jamaican dollars for one beach chair they have a restaurant on property they serve really really good food okay. oh too food for me i don't mind if chantelle if the birthday girl doesn't want her here chantelle you're back in the look good i so much food you order no man so barbie jerk for chantelle and Bami and I ordered a burger and fries. This is 1500 Jamaican dollars and this is 300 for the Bami's and mine is 1000 for the burger. I gotta say, I'm highly impressed with the food. First of all, mm, no man. This is the one that's really nice one. On the menu is jerk chicken, barbie jerk chicken, fish, lobster, burgers. They have bami, they have festival, they serve fries. Listen, this tastes really good. Mm -mm. But I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be this good. But I wasn't expecting it to be this good. But it's really good. Um, handheld tripod just broke. 
Yeah. What a time for this break when me I talk about what you can use for shoe with iPhone though. This part right here that I'd use to tighten right here, it would be attached right here. But it's broken, the part that holds the phone. But at least I have the standing tripod and that can also be used as handheld. So I'm going to be switching over to that one. Richmond Cove is a really small beach. It's a cliff. And I'm seeing a little structure right there. It looks like a little tree house, but it looks really cool. Um, you have over here another cliff. Frenchman Cove is basically in the middle of two cliffs right here. It's a really small beach, but it's so scenic, so pretty. A little house up here. Hello, blackbird. You want some food? Not even a thank you. Not even a thank you. So this is what happens when you shoot with an iPhone. I'm walking back to the car to grab my charger though. Make sure you bring your charger. So the phone that I have, luckily it's a, which way am I come from? Well on. <laughs> I think, yeah, okay, I'm not lost, I'm good. Battery's gonna die on you. Luckily the charger I have is a fast charger so I can get up to 60% in like less than 30 minutes. So I'm going for that now. Plus Frenchman's Cove is also a resort, not just a beach. So there are villas on property. You're not allowed to bring in food or drinks, just a bottle of water because obviously they want you to buy from the restaurant. But we snuck in a piece of birthday cake for Chantoy. <laughs> Word of advice, bring some insect repellent because things are bite me, I'm in a new hour. Oh, got the charger. They have plugs and seats by the restaurant. Gonna get some juice over there. So happy that we got some charge on the phone battery but not all challenges come with success. My phone was on the standing tripod right here, but... You could be quicker than that. On the bright side, Frenchman's Cove was amazing and affordable. I had so much fun and I can't wait to come back here. Alright guys, it is now 12.13am and after a very long night of ear dropping from my phone to my laptop, I am finally about to go to bed. So I am now at Ocean Crest Guest House, Airbnb here in Port Antonio. It's literally two minutes from the town and it's on Titchfield Hill just after Titchfield High School. It's a very cheap Airbnb. Our room is 7,000 Jamaican dollars for the night but rooms start as low as 6,500. It's nothing luxurious it's far from it i'll be honest in terms of cleanliness not my favorite if you're doing budget travel you'll have to make sacrifices like these where you might spend less on the accommodation and more money on the tours so that you can get more done For those who travel you might see them doing that because it'll save them money on the hotel or the airbnb and then they'll get to do more stuff during the day it's got wi-fi it's got air conditioning at an extra cost but if not then every room has a fan it's just within a small community the phone signal is really poor so i've been having trouble with that since i've been here good thing is that the cost is very low if you're looking for somewhere to just go for maybe one or two nights just a good quick airbnb hostel type of place it's going to save us money and it's just for one night so it's doable oh and the host by the way she's the sweetest lady she's like this older lady so welcoming she's so nice she's been really kind to us she's like a family type of community so one of the issues and i can share it with you now when shooting on travel vlog with your iphone is space so because i was shooting at 4k 60 all day i actually ran out of space so what i had to do is i had to go through the videos and early sort through of the content from today so i went through all of them deleted what i didn't want and i airdropped them to my laptop right here and after i airdropped them i deleted them from the phone so that i can have space for tomorrow's activities really looking forward to tomorrow's activities i can't wait so glad i finally got to transfer all this over so you can expect that when you're shooting on an iphone but you don't have to record in 4k 60 
you can record in 1080 60 which doesn't take as much space that's the reason why i'm having this issue now as i said i usually do record in 1080 60 don't have much sleep getting right now but i'm so so exhausted see you in the morning bye the stingray oh that's so cool <gasps> all right so we're at blue lagoon and our guide is the famous plucky respect one and all right he will be taking care of us today. How long is the ride? Well, the tour itself is like half an hour, but if you want to stop on the beach and spend time, the time is for you. All right, 1.3 million US. That's crazy. And over there, we got people kayaking. Wait. Morning. Right here. So this villa belongs to Butch Stewart, and it's where Tom Cruise stayed when they shot his movie nice that's cool. these villas are nice i like the color so who's whose villa is this one okay teddy you're gonna need to hit me up look how pretty the water is though crystal clear wow so plucky how long have you been doing this 14 wow that's a long time So we are at Blue Lagoon, which is this beautiful body of water. It's brackish water made up of seawater and fresh water. And the views are beautiful, good for a morning ride. You can either do the boat ride or you can do rafting. Because we're on the budget travel, we chose the boat ride because it's 2,500 per person for the boat ride, $8,000 for the whole raft. You're gonna be on the water just the same. You're gonna get the same views. So if you're looking to save some money, it's best that you do the boat ride but if you want to do the rafting that's good as well okay how much movie tom cruise shoot there so locals they say used to believe that it was bottomless but it was discovered that it's about 180 to 200 feet deep did you think it was the bottomless too? So over here is sand sand beach where the turtles often go to lay their eggs and then go back into the sea a stingray Enjoying the ride? Miss? <laughs> She's not looking at that. It's about 30 minutes ride and then he's going to bring us to Monkey Island. So fun fact, Plucky is telling me that Monkey Island, which is right here, Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz shot a part, a scene from their movie Night and Day. And people get married over there as well. off the boat and spend some time here it's a little beach that you can chill at and if you want to just spend maybe like a short time plucky says he's willing to stay with you but if you're gonna spend a longer time he'll leave and come back we'll just have to find a way to survive we came over here to monkey island okay thank you we will there goes our ride if anything, we're stranded over here. <laughs> there goes Plucky. Plucky will be back for us in an hour. Okay. Oh, we can we can write our name on the island. Oh, we got swings. We got swings. We got food. Yeah. We got water. A purse. We got me. We got a tree. We got nothing. <laughs> nothing. We got nothing. <laughs> we got a tree to hug. I think we're fine. Um, if we want to sleep, we got the sand. <laughs> what <do> I mean, <laughs> a good food. <laughs> the first thing you have to do is find somewhere to set up, right? This is our little bed, rock, our sofa, our bed for the day, for the next hour. This is our couch. No, this is our bed. This is our bed, this is our couch or the sofa with a view, that's the TV, you know, our entertainment. We have another sofa over here with entertainment right here. This is a mini sofa, yeah, this one with another TV screen right here. 
Yeah. To focus, yeah. This is our security guard. Look at these baby fish. Don't run. You can eat on my feet. See? We got food. If we run out of food in the bag, we have food here. Fish. We can fry them. For lunch, we got two wafers, some leftover granola, and a bottle of water. Come no. to go and sanitize. That would be a food and I would be sharing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah, my episode of SpongeBob, my Patrick. The chop, then the chop. Yeah, man. And then the chop somewhere. And then the chocolate. <laughs> they get two chocolate. Patrick get one and SpongeBob get one. And Patrick eat up his chocolate. And, and then SpongeBob sent to you. Then here, Patrick. You ate my only food. Now I'm gonna to starve. starve. Island, also known as Pelu Island. It got its name from a colony of monkeys that actually used to live here. It's got a small shady beach and it's perfect for a morning or an afternoon escape. I love it here. I can see them filming movies here. Oh, and they have weddings, small private weddings here. All right, guys, so a 65 meter deep extinct volcano fed by underground streams is what actually feeds the Blue Lagoon. So something cool about the Blue Lagoon too is that it's, it changes color. So sometimes it'll look turquoise, then parts of it will look royal blue. Sometimes it'll have a deep sapphire look. Oh, and there's a legend that exists that there's a dragon that lives here somewhere. All right, guys, another tip when you're shooting on your iPhone. So I'm facing here and you can see the light is behind me. So it's very bright. The exposure is really bright. Just tap the screen and it'll change it for you. You'll see the little sunscreen icon. You will get a little darker, but at least you can see the view behind you, which is better than before. And here comes our ride. Plucky's back. We are turtle searching. Water is so pretty. So we are on the way back. I see him, I see him. Yes, there he is. There he is right here. Them big turtle, hi guy. Ooh, another one. Them big, them, them big turtle so look like rock. This your car rustic white boy over there that's where um Plucky says is the deepest point of the lagoon. Crazy. Yeah, over here is definitely deep. Watch your heads, watch your heads. So there you've had it that was port antonio shot on an iphone on a budget friendly stay we had an affordable guest house two days of tours and some fun scenic and soothing vibes here i hope you guys had a good time thank you for watching and i hope the video could have been helpful please don't forget to like the video don't forget to share the video don't forget to subscribe thank you so much i appreciate all of you and i will see you in the next one peace Thank you, Plucky. Welcome. Plucky was amazing. Okay. Yes. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Respect.